Hey, good people, this is Eddie Gray, and a couple of weeks back, I did a poll. Turns out all of the users want Logic Pro hacks. So that's what I'm going to give you in the spirit of service. Here we go. Look, I'm super excited to talk to you about this video. All right, so you may have watched my former video. It's on bookmarks. Now, I didn't really accentuate all the reasons that you could use it. You can see here that I have a MIDI part, super basic MIDI loop that I dragged in from the Apple loop browser, key command O. So what's gonna happen right now is that I'm gonna show you how I bookmark a session that I made in advance called MIDI transform. Now, why is this important? Because if you know anything about MIDI transform, key command command nine for me, it, essentially allows you to automate various tasks that are usually laborious, fixing velocity, randomizing velocity, so you get like a human touch. There's also a humanized feature, crescendo, lots of great stuff you can do here, okay? Now, here's the bottom line. If you click on the up and down arrow menu, you can go into what's called a new transform set. Now, the only downfall here is that these are project-specific. So what I did in advance was I created them. And so here I'm gonna import project settings, right? And the only thing that I'm gonna take with me are not the audio settings, not the metronome, but my transform sets. Now remember, I was able to locate this file very quickly because I bookmarked it. And so then now when I hit import, I now have my transform set. So if I highlight the MIDI, hit Command-9, check it out, guys, they're all going to be readily accessible. These are all my file sets. Okay, so why is this important? Well, you can see when I go into the presets for MIDI Transform, they've got some great options. Don't get me wrong. Fixed velocity, randomized pitch, transpose, fixed note length. I love that one, by the way. But there are some things that it doesn't do, which you're going to have to program. For example, here I have crescendo, right? And so what if you wanted to decrescendo? All right, and what is a crescendo? If you don't know, go to crescendo here. You can get the MIDI to go from 1 to 127, right? So if you got like a snare, an EDM snare or something like that, you can have that build over time. Now, please bear in mind, all of this is kind of under the regulation or the rules of position. So if I lift this all the way up to bar 15, it's going to cover this entire area, if that makes sense. Otherwise, if I have it to like, you know, four, it's not necessarily gonna cover everything. So from bar one to bar 15, again, I hit operate, and you can see that now I'm building this over time. All right, so let me get this back to a normal velocity. So I'm gonna to go to fixed velocity. We'll hit operate only. Everything's back on track. And let's go to this decrescendo setting here. And so then now what I'm telling Logic is, hey, from bar one all the way to 15, I need you to go from the highest point all the way to the lowest, right? So from 127 all the way down, I need you to bring that MIDI 127 all the way down to MIDI one and so i'm gonna hit operate only and there you go check this one out so obviously this is a really great way to utilize dynamics you can use a compressor you can use volume but this is just another tool in your arsenal now look at the regulations you have to understand how this works what is it going to affect is the position the statuses are the notes themselves. And then again, what are we affecting? Velocity. How are we affecting it from a high value to a low value from 127 and then uh, bring that over to one. And so this is just a really nice quick way of being able to work with MIDI. Now, I just want to reiterate, you've got the presets that come with Logic, but you might want to create some of your own in order to take your workflow to the very next level. This is an invitation for you to be able to become more, to do more, and ultimately have more. So thank you very much for everything. We really appreciate you guys. Keep watching the content. And of course, if you have any suggestions whatsoever, anything that you want to learn, we are happy to serve. Just hit us up. Thank you for your time. We'll catch you later.